Hi guys, welcome back to That Guy Sews. So today's video is actually going to be how to make a distressed pair of denim shorts. You can do this in many different ways. You can either buy jeans and cut them into shorts, buy shorts and just distress them. What I actually did was I bought a pair of jeans from the charity shop and then I cut them a while ago into just some standard shorts and then I'm going to be turning them today into some distressed shorts. So these are the shorts that I've actually that I've made and as you can see they're nice and distressed. They're yet to be thrown in into the washing machine because once you throw them into the washing machine they then become nice and fluffy and that fluffiness that you really love to have on your distressed shorts. It's a really simple tutorial. It does actually take a little while because trying to distress jeans or shorts is, is quite a lengthy process although you essentially are doing one thing it just takes a while to pull all of the all of the loose threads and stuff out. Um, I will be doing a tutorial soon on how to style distressed denim or how to style distressed denim shorts for the summer. Please don't forget guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. As I said, I do upload a video or try to upload a video once a week on sewing, DIY or fashion. The main things that you're going to need for this tutorial are a cutting board or a notepad or something that you can actually cut with, some jean shorts or some jeans that you're going to cut into shorts, some scissors, some chalk, a seam ripper and the main main thing that I used for this was actually the metal side of a metal suede brush. Now you don't have to use that I would just advise getting like a metal brush or a metal scour that you know you can use and that is very very tough on the fabric. I just used this metal suede brush because it's something I had lying around and it works perfectly for what I want it to do. So the first thing that I'd done after cutting these into shorts was to get the metal side of this scrubber and actually just give the end of the shorts a really, really, really tough, tough scrub so that it gives it that really frayed effect and the more you do it, the more frayed it will be. So depending on how frayed you want these shorts to be at the bottom completely depends on how much time you're going to spend on this part. Now the main two techniques that I used for these shorts are using an X-Acto knife and this metal brush. Now I use the knife to create the initial slits and then go over this with the brush to give it that really, really distressed look. So as you can see there, I've done three straight slits with the knife and then I've brushed over it really, really toughly with my metal brush. The next thing that I've done is placed a book inside of the shorts so I can actually make slits on the outer edge of the shorts and it won't go right the way through. Don't forget to pull the pocket up and out of the way if you're going to make slits nice and high because otherwise you'll cut straight through the pocket. And then went back over that with the metal brush before grabbing some tweezers and these are the only tweezers I had lying around and they were terrible but I advise you guys to get some really really sharp tweezers so I grabbed some tweezers and then I began just pulling out the blue threads which run directly up the shorts so you should be pulling these out and just leaving the right threads that run across the shorts now again this is a really tedious process but once you do get those first few threads out of the way it becomes a lot easier and a lot quicker to just use your hands and just keep pulling those blue threads out until you've got none left. Now this is completely up to you guys, it depends on where and how often you want your slits to be. I wanted it to be on both sides of the front of the shorts. As you can see again once I've finished that I've just gone back over it with the brush every time. Now the next thing that I wanted to do was distress sort of the front pockets and the edge areas of these shorts. The way I've done that is grabbed my knife, grabbed scissors and grabbed the metal brush and used a combination of the three just to get that distressed look. So cutting away at little pieces then brushing over it with that metal brush. Now I wanted to create a form of hole, of distressed hole at the bottom of these shorts whilst maintaining the bottom line of the shorts. Now the way I've done this is made two, two slits and then cut directly through these slits. This will allow me to pull the blue threads out right the way across and just have those really frayed white threads hanging out across the bottom of the shorts. And finally, as you can see, I've moved onto the back where I'm using that X-Acto knife just to make some distressed marks. So making little slits in the shorts and then rubbing over it with that brush. And again, not pushing too hard to run right the way through the shorts, but just making some surface, surface slits that maybe don't go all the way through these shorts. So that when I brush over them with that brush, it really does just bring that first layer of fabric up. 
Now finally, just to bring all of those larger slits together, I've just taken the X-Acto knife and just made some little slits, maybe in twos and threes, across the front and the back of the shorts, and then going, up, going over it with that brush, just to give it that overall really distressed, worn out feel. Now make sure you don't push down too hard. I hope you guys really do like this tutorial. I'm so happy with how they've come out and I can't wait to just keep wearing these for what little summer we have left. I would recommend chucking these in the washer and then once you put them on, they really, really will pop with that nice distressed feel.